and we know that the teen, he was driving this way and the other driver was coming this way and they crashed right about here. Now this happened at four o'clock in the morning. So investigators want to know why was a 16 year old even on the roads? The two cars hit head on with such force that debris from the crash flew more than 100 feet, striking the wall and the roof of this house and leaving the engine block of one of the cars in a neighbor's front bushes. This neighbor says her boyfriend heard the crash. And he heard like bang so, so, so loud. By the time rescuers arrived, the 26 year old man who had been driving the dark colored Nissan was unresponsive. He later died. The 16 year old driving the gray Honda had relatively minor injuries. Witnesses say he was walking around after the crash and they noticed how he was dressed. Short t-shirt and a short pants. Did you think that was unusual? Unusual because it's cold. It was cold. Ah. 28 degrees. The police chief says it appears the 16 year old was speeding, lost control and swerved into the path of the car coming the other way. Under Massachusetts law, drivers under the age of 18 with a learner's permit are banned from driving between midnight and 5 a.m. unless they have a parent in the car. So this person, the 16 year old should not have been driving under these circumstances. Apparently not at this point. Seekonk's police chief says the 16 year old might now face criminal charges. He says parents of all teen drivers need to lay down the law. It's extremely um, important that parents, especially the new young drivers, uh, drive home that, uh, that point that driving a vehicle is not a joke. And at this point, the name of the other driver, the driver who died in this crash, has not been released. Live in Seekonk, David Beanick, WCVB News Center 5.